it's wrong, but I love it. Vanilla candle for your armpit. My poor little plant babies. Hey everyone. Okay, so it's finally time for July favorites. Did you have a wonderful July? Because I did. I love the summer. I've talked about this before. Right now I have a whole bunch of favorites and more than the usual one or two unfavorites. So I'm gonna try to not ramble and ramble and ramble and I'm just gonna be like lightning fast. Like you're gonna be so impressed with me. I might be talking this up a little bit too much. Let's just do it, okay? My first favorite is actually an eyeshadow palette by Coastal Scents. It's the Revealed 2 palette. It has 20 eyeshadows. It's kind of like a knockoff of the Urban Decay 3. You guys know I love that one. I made a tutorial about it. I might have made two tutorials about it. I was obsessed with it. Cause it's all kind of like a nude-ish palette, but it is definitely on like the rosier side. So they all have like pink hues, pur purple hues, that kind of thing. And I have been so impressed with this palette and I'm not gonna lie, I had never tried Coastal Scents anything before I tried this. They sent it to me and I had never talked to them before. I never even considered trying anything by Coastal Scents before. I was super interested when I actually saw it and I've been using it a whole lot. I love these colors. They've got a good variety of matte shades, a bunch of sparkles. It goes from like a matte light highlight, which you know I love, to a black. All the shadows I have on today, this is a matte look. I used this palette. Um, the only downside of this palette is no mirror. I had no idea what I was missing out on and this is definitely a good option. Sometimes I'm just wrong and I'm willing to admit it. My next favorite is another thing that I've seen in a billion YouTube videos, and for some reason, I never tried it myself. It is the Mali Volumizing Mascara. I know, totally late to the party, but this mascara is actually incredible. I ordered it with two of my friends at work and it came in like a triple pack. And I knew I'd heard really great things about it, but for some reason, I'm still like blown away. It seems like such a basic thing. Um, it's just like black mascara, whatever. The wand looks super classic, super basic, but somehow it just gives such amazing volume and it doesn't get clumpy. Like I love Benefit They're Real, you know this, but it will get clumpy. I'm kind of okay with clumpy lashes, but most people aren't. I love a lot of volume. I love some crazy lashes, um, but this stuff, I mean, if you were disappointed by how like uh, Benefit They're Real could get a little clumpy on you, this stuff, this stuff right here is really incredible. My next favorite is kind of like an oldie but a goodie, but it's a little bit different. This is the Maybelline Line Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Eyeliner. I know I like took like a year off of liquid eyeliner, crazy. And I've been doing like a lot of like the kind of more softer look using a eyeshadow for a liner. And I still do that, but for some reason, something got into me and I repurchased my old holy grail liquid liner. But the difference is that I got this in brownish black. All those years of using the line stiletto, I was getting black as black. Still kind of gives you that softer look, but at the same time, it's like that perfect winged liner. So today I have this on, but I also have like a shadow for the wing. And it's just something a little bit different using the brown instead of the black. Totally out of my comfort zone, y'all, and I'm loving it. Next up, I have the Flower Beauty BB Cream in BB2. This is the makeup line that they sell, I think exclusively at Walmart. It's a Drew Barrymore line. I got this a million years ago and I think I've talked to you guys about it but I've never done like a proper review. This is one of my favorite slash yeah this one or maybe one other ones. This is my favorite drugstore BB cream. It gives you great coverage and I don't think it goes crazy greasy too fast. I think all BB creams have a tendency to get oily and like they're not as long lasting as maybe like a long lasting foundation, of course, duh. But this one, I just had such good luck with it. I think this one's a little too yellow for my skin tone, but for some reason I like it. I don't know. It's wrong, but I love it. Okay, I just have two more favorites and then we go into the unfavorites. This one is kind of an oddball. I don't think I've ever put deodorant in my favorites. This is the Secret Clinical Strength Smooth Solid in Sensitive Aloe Scent. If you watch my empties videos, 
videos, you'll know I usually get the kind of clinical strength whatever deodorant, even though I kind of hate it, whatever, we've got our issues. But I almost always slash always get the unscented version. I'm real big into unscented deodorant. However, this last time I really needed some deodorant and I was at Target and for some reason they had no unscented deodorant. Not cool, y'all. I was like, mm, aloe? That seems kind of like natural, undetectable, not like flirty, fun, lavender, like vanilla candle for your armpit. That's gross. Can we not? Ew. I'm sorry. I'm obviously not hating on anyone that likes scented deodorant. That would be so stupid. Um, but I don't like it for myself. I feel like I can smell it and I feel like it competes with my perfume, which might be totally in my head, but I just prefer unscented. But surprisingly, I've actually really been liking this. And like, whenever I do smell it, I'm actually totally fine with it. I'm like, oh, hey, not bad. Overall, I'm impressed and I'm surprised. Both are good things. My last favorite is very special and it's very different and it's a plant. It's a terrarium. My mom actually got this for me and I am in love with it. Oh my gosh, you guys don't even know. Not gonna lie, I had a Pinterest board whenever I was planning like how to decorate this place. I'm not big on Pinterest exactly. I have one, but I don't use it enough. My friend and I were collaborating on a board to try to like find cool stuff. And I had picked out so many like cactus and succulents and all kinds of stuff like this, like terrariums. I have like three fake ones that I'm obsessed with, even though they look totally fake. I still love them. And I guess that's how she knew that I would be absolutely obsessed with this. I went out to dinner with my mom and my sister and my dad. They were kind of congratulating me for getting 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. They are so supportive and I love them so much. This is perfect for me. Like if they had given me flowers, I, not that I wouldn't appreciate that but like this is so much better I'm not even sure if you can see it I think the light is probably really getting in the way and I do not want to kill them oh my gosh I'm already so scared I've like murdered my other plants and I'm totally rambling about this terrarium I'm in love with it thanks mom all right it is now time for my unfavorites and then we will move on to the magic moment so we will end on a high note my very first unfavorite is in a big gallon ziploc bag because it doesn't know how to behave itself this is the Herbal Essence Naked Dry Shampoo. This is very new and I was interested because you guys know I love dry shampoo. I'll depend on it. I hate washing my hair. I've been talking about this for years at this point. I had this for a few days. I tried it a few times. I really wasn't that impressed, honestly. And one day I opened my hair stuff drawer, which I, it doesn't have like a lining in or anything and it's just like painted. And for some reason, everything was feeling kind of like wet and this thing was in the corner and it had like leaked all on the inside of the drawer i don't know what ingredient in here it's probably like the alcohol or something like that it was melting the paint this stuff cannot be trusted and i'm a little bit wary of whatever the ingredients are because it melts paint i might be getting a little paranoid over this but i was just like no faulty packaging i hate you you get nothing and you can hear it's like almost totally empty like it just spontaneously started leaking everything into my drawer. So can't say I loved it and I'm never gonna repurchase it. I'm not very forgiving when it comes to dry shampoo. When I need ya, I need ya. My next unfavorite is this lipstick by L'Oreal and it's Collection Privé, maybe? This one is Eva and it's like all those different like nude colors and there's all those different pretty movie star people. I keep being attracted to those displays and I don't know why because nude lipstick does not look that great on me except this one. Do you like this one? This one's a Maybelline. I really like it. Anyway, I'm okay with it. I don't think it looks that good on me but the thing that is disgusting about it is it smells like flowery perfume play-doh it's disgusting it's intolerable it's just ugh. I can usually get over things I'm usually pretty laid-back but it smells like a bouquet of play-doh flowers it's nasty avoid it or at least 
sniff it before you buy it because I can't stand it. And my last unfavorite is actually a movie. It is Wish I Was Here. Um, it's a new Zach Braff movie. I joked about it on Twitter and said it was called Garden State 2. When I first heard about this, I was slightly excited. I'm not gonna lie, I was young and in love when Garden State came out and I kind of liked it. Actually, I kind of loved it. I kind of thought this was gonna be decent. Um, surprise, it wasn't. And the movie was awful. Like, none of it stuck together. There was way too much going on and none of it was even good. Every character was just like thinly likable slash not even likable. I mean, I could go on forever about why this movie wasn't good. When I see a trailer of it on TV or some kind of promo or something, I'm just like, stop. Stop lying to people. Stop trying to steal their money because this was awful. And there was like this whole like Kickstarter for it. And when I was watching it, I was like, People that donated for this movie probably feel so dumb watching it because it's awful. And there's all this like special effects stuff that is totally unnecessary. It was just bad. I know I'm being really, really hard on it, but I hated it. Hated it. Seriously, I hated it. <laughs> anyway, on a lighter note, I have two things in the running for my magical moment of the month. Number one, I had my very first garage sale and it was really hard, but I think it went really well. My number two magical moment, um, very different. I went to the Alamo Draft House. There's, there's two of them in Houston and I'd only been to one of them and I I had been to that one several times, but I hadn't ever been to the other one. I went to the other one finally, and I saw a midnight showing of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'd seen it before at home and stuff, but I'd never seen it in a theater, obviously. That was a whole different experience. It was crazy. I don't know if you like horror movies or like slasher movies or whatever. I'm more into like older horror movies. It was crazy, it was intense, and it was magical. What was your magical moment of July? I love hearing about your magical moments. I feel like we can all put them in one place down below and read them, read other people's magical moments, and then we can just like all feed off the positivity. Hope for a brighter future. I don't know, that got a little mushy. I'm sorry, disregard. Anyway, if you have any comments or questions or whatever, comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, Google Plus, everywhere. It's Leanne Says. I'll put the links in the description down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so you can catch up with all my new videos because they're coming out all the time. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. I love you because you are my people. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone! Whatever, whatever. And so I'm not crazy. My mascara routine is ridiculous. You don't even want to know. You don't even want to know. Loving it. What else? What else is my favorite? I really shouldn't stop and text while I'm filming. Secrets. Like sent it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My poor little plant babies. Maybe it was a freak accident. I don't know how to say that. I don't know what this one is called but it's like a deer with all kinds of crazy flowers and antlers and I love it. I'm a fan of antlers. They agree with me. I don't have them and I'm a little bit jealous.